Hello. Hello, uh, Stephen. Yeah, speaking. Hi, this is Chris. You uh, you have spoke to my partner Sage in regards to your house over on Huntington. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. What, uh -oh. what can I help you with? <laughs> yeah, so I was calling about your house there. Yeah, I was trying to. Uh, I was looking at it, and we're definitely interested in uh, trying to buy it. Uh, I just had a couple of other questions about the house. Um, you said it didn't need uh, any type of repairs or anything like that. Well, uh, no, not really. But last week, my wife and I were doing open house, and we opened up the garage, and one, one of the snables, snables, one of the cables snapped on the garage. But that's an old oh. garage door opener. That's an old garage door open. You probably want to get one with a remote on it. If you, if you did, that one never had a remote. That's 50 years old. <laughs> oh, um, wow. That's the original one, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, just, Great. it just broke. It, it'll go up, but you got to kind of go out there and give it a, a little. That's the only thing wrong with the house, but that that happened last week. Oh, uh, wow. It's always something with these houses, right? Well, I mean, that's the only thing that I can tell you that's that's wrong with this house it's a moving it's every 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 room is immaculate it's a moving condition uh oh yeah that just happened last week okay and then about how old is the roof the roof uh it is probably as old as the house so but that's a guaranteed 140 year old slate roof so it's warranted for oh, wow. 140 years <laughs> yeah wow they, they I, I didn't even know they made them like that Oh yeah, yeah. It's called uh, Pennsylvania Pennsylvania slate. It's real thick, and uh, mm. everybody else was getting roofs around there with the hailstorms. Not me. The hail just bounced right off of it. Uh, you just smiling all the way, like you need a roof like me. <laughs> well, the guy that the guy that built that whole neighborhood lived in that house, so he. Oh really? Him. Yeah, he did everything like top notch. There's only been three owners. Him, another person, and myself. So, and uh, mm. you know, and we we've kept it immaculate. I, I, it's just a beautiful home. The only reason I'm selling it is I'm retiring down to Florida. So that's the only. Oh, we're going to, to the Sunshine State. Mm-hmm. Yep. Retire. My okay. wife and I got a house in Pensacola Beach, and uh, we're getting out of. Well, we're just gonna spend six months and six months. You know, I got some kids that live down there. And grandkids and stuff, so we'll go six and right, years right. here. But that's the only reason I sell it. And I'm, I'm running a villa out here in Cotterville. I mean, I'm just running. I mean, I'm not gonna. So that's. I started out at 235, and my neighbors were like, "Man, that's low." <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm, down to, I'm down to 189. <laughs> but if you want to get a wow. comparison, there's a there's a house there's a house there's an open house. So I know the realtor today. Uh, from three to five, and that, and they want two fifty for that house, but my house is com comparable to that at one eighty nine. So is it is it three yeah. bed, three bath as well on that one? No, my the only thing hurting me on this was is, is the bathrooms. It's uh, I have a full bath upstairs and a half bath downstairs, and what they're calling is a full bath downstairs, but I'm not calling it that. It, it's a finished basement, but the shower is kind of off to the to the side under the unfinished side, so. I'm calling it a, a – there's a full bath upstairs with three big bedrooms. There's a half bath on the main level, and there's a half bath in the basement with a shower to the side of it. So it's nice. I, I live downstairs. It's a finished basement, wet bar. Whole, I mean, I got pictures on the Internet. I don't know if you, you saw them or not. But oh, yeah, okay. So that was the bar down there. I think I saw that in the pictures. Yeah, that's a wet bar down there, sink in the back and stuff. It's a, a Is there a walkout basement? Uh, yeah, it's a, there's a man door down there. Uh, there is a man door with man door steps going up. You know, that's how they did them years ago. They didn't have any kind of sliding walkouts, but there is a man door you can get out of the basement. Yep. Oh, wow. Good, yeah. good. And so um, let me see here. And so uh, then you said you owed about 185 Is that correct? No, I, I owe right where it's at. <laughs> Right. Wow. Where I borrowed it a couple. I borrowed it for uh, college educations and stuff. But yeah, 189 is what I owe the bank, and that's what I'm. I'm trying to get 189 for it. I'm not going to make a dime off of it. Matter of fact, I'm going to lose money. <laughs> wow. We don't want that. We want to try to help you out. So, uh, what's the monthly payment on it every month you have to make? Well, it depends on you put whatever you put down on 189. Uh, what's the interest rate now? Four percent. Uh, we'll say it's four. 
if you pull down 10, or I don't even know, you did it put down nothing. You just got to average what 189 and uh, times that by four. Uh, you're, you're probably only looking at about a thousand dollars a month if that, if that. So, oh, okay. How much is the monthly payment that you have to make? Oh, did I have to make? Mine is fifteen hundred. <laughs> I'm oh, still wow. making the payments. Yeah. Does that cover have, the I, principal, I interest, taxes, yep. and insurance? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mine's so fifteen hundred right now. 15. Okay. Uh, and so let's see. Okay. And so if we're able to work everything out, how soon would you be looking to close? Well, you know, this is a bad time. I'm going to San Antonio tomorrow, and I'll be gone for two weeks. Uh, I got to go to a wedding, and I'm going to fly over to my house in Pensacola. So I won't be back till October 30th. <laughs> uh, oh wow! I don't know if I, I don't know if I was talking to your was that your wife I was talking to or? Oh, uh, no, yes, my partner. Yeah, she helps. We work together with the real estate and things like that. So we buy houses all over town. I don't know if that was explained to you. So yeah, so basically what we do is buy houses. Uh, for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. We just try to find out, you know, if there's a way we can try to, you know, give you a good solution where it's a win-win situation where you're not, you know, covering a monthly payment or dealing with the house and try to sell the house. We actually want to buy the house and uh, work something out with you if possible. Yeah. Um, and let me ask you this. Would you consider taking a monthly payment for it until you were paid off in full? Oh, uh, no. No, we just want to get rid of the house. It's. We, I don't want to – I had a renter in there. It was a nightmare. I had a renter down in Florida. It was a nightmare. But no, I just want to get—I just want to sell the house outright, get my 189, pay the bank, and walk away. I don't want to. So you're saying the only way you'll sell it is all cash? Well, cash or whatever you come up with, 189. <laughs> yeah, cash. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, because I don't know if she told you or not, but we buy houses a lot of different ways. I mean, we can actually still buy your house basically for you know what you owe on it. And uh, what we would do, if, you know, if you're interested, we could take over that monthly payment for you. And uh, we close through a real estate attorney and everything. So everything is disclosed. It's not, you know, uh, we would actually buy the house. We would be responsible for the maintenance and repairs for the house going forward. You won't have to deal with it. You won't even have to come back to St. Louis anymore to deal with this house. And uh, we would make that payment for you until we, uh, for a period of time until we get it cashed out in the near future. Would you consider something like that? Well, if my name is nowhere on that title, I would. My name exactly. Is That's name. exactly. Yes, yeah, so we we would definitely do that. The only thing is the loan will stay in your name temporarily until we get it paid off sometime in the future. Do you think you would consider something like that? No, not really, because Penny Mac has really been on my ass here. About yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I don't think Penny Mac would allow it for one. Uh, actually, we uh, we have one with Penny Mac right now. Now that you speak of them, so we we actually have one with them. We we do these type yeah. of deals all the time. So it's it's not, you know, most people don't even know what's possible because they think, you know, you only have to sell the house all outright for all cash. But what we're trying to do, or if you were interested, we could buy the house along with it, you know, in place temporarily. We would make those payments until we get it cashed out sometime in the near future. But the loan would stay in your name, but we would actually be buying the house. Like I said, we were close to a real estate attorney. Everything is disclosed. There are no surprises. There are no gotchas. Plus, like I said, we would take responsibility for everything dealing with the house. You don't have to even look, come back to the house for any reason if you don't want to. You know, so we would take over it, yeah. and, do it and take care of all the things in the house. No, I don't want to. And go it would actually solve your problem. Yeah, I I don't want to go that route. Honestly, uh, I rather have nothing to do with that house whatsoever. Nothing, no loan. Exactly. So that's 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 what it was. We would take the deed, but we wouldn't. You wouldn't have anything to do with the house. You just would notice that uh, you know, that payment's being covered until we get it cashed out. And we try to get it cashed out sooner rather than later, because that's basically where we would make our money at. Because we would uh, you know, we would do whatever fixes that are needed on it and put it out and try to you know basically improve it and get it sold. But you, like I said, in the meantime, you won't have to deal with the house anymore, and it will cover your payment and solve your problem. But you say uh, you would consider something like that, or what do you think? I don't think so. I think I want to just sell the house outright or just give it over to the bank, honestly, at this point. They're, make, they're pissing me off anyway, so I'll just walk away from it if, before I do you said You thing. said you'll give it over to the bank? I would before I do that, yeah. So that's why I'll say this, it, this it, scenario it, it, here would make it so you wouldn't have to do that. I mean, it's up to you, though. You know, it's your house. You know, I'll just, you yeah, know, I think like, it's basically sell. the same thing, but you would actually get it for them. Yeah. I'd have to talk it over with my wife. Can you send me any information on my on my on this phone? What's this program? I actually can. What's, what's the best email address for you? Uh, M as in Mike. You got a pen? Uh, yes, sir. Ready? M as in Mike. S 
W oh, okay. global dot net. All right, I got you, you in there, Stephen. So what I'm going to do here? Yeah, yeah that's so not a problem. Not... Go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you yeah. know. Yeah, I'll send you an email, uh, give you basically a little bit of information about us. It'll have our website and everything, uh, background. But like I said, we do these deals all the time. It's not really uh, – just most people don't even know that you can even do that, that it's even an option. And it's only just that an option. You can choose to go, you know, give it to the bank and let them take it back and go through that process or, you know, let us pay it. Is it current? Is the monthly payments current on it for the 1500 Uh, Not no, – I'll say yes. I can I can make them current today if I wanted to, but they're starting to – I went to Deed and Lou, and they started to uh, mess with me a little bit. Uh, Lou, I've heard, I'm sure you've heard of Deed and Lou, right? Yes, sir. So I've, yes. I've, I've tried to do that with Penny, and they're kind of messing me around with that. So short sale, they wouldn't even do a short sale. It's Penny Max something else. Then they sold my mortgage last week, and it's all screwed up. But I can make it current today if I want to. I'm just kind of dicking around with them a little bit, you know. <laughs> they're dicking around so with how me. much did they say? Is, how much is it behind, you think? Uh, just a couple grand. I mean, I have two Oh, okay. So nothing major. Yeah, I, I, so, you know, nothing major. Okay. Yeah, and so that's major. the thing, too. So when we buy these deals, we typically pay the closing cost, so you don't have to come out of pocket for even a penny. A penny, man. How about that? So it just depends on the yeah. situation if we can make the numbers work. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah. If you could send me all your information, I can Google it. Yeah, I got, I got well, most of my friends are real estate people anyway. They can, they can let me know what's going on. But my niece tried to sell yeah, the house. Okay. She works. She she works at. Uh, where she work at? Uh, she I don't know. But she and then I got uh, Lynn Thien and they were she's a good friend of mine. I mean, I have real estate agents that can. I'll look. I'll and I have an attorney I can have look over too. So I'll make sure your thing yeah, works. That's not a you know. So yeah, yeah. I've never yeah, heard so of that's, something that's, like that's, this. Exactly. 90% of people in real estate don't even know this stuff, to be honest with you. Just being honest. You know, they say, wow, the only way you can sell is put on the MLS and pray. But a lot of people go down their path and find out that six months, a year later, they're still messing with the house that they could have sold a long time ago if they knew, you know, the other options were available. And so this is just another one of those options. So it's just totally up to you. And then the next, right. Stephen, did you have any other questions for me before I let you go? No, I mean, would you consider buying it higher than what I got it on the market for? I mean, that's another that's one question, I guess. Well, the only way we're able to buy it anywhere near the actual value of it is usually on one of these types of terms deals, where we can actually work out a deal, where we can buy the house, take responsibility for the house, you know, the deed would transfer over to us, and you wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. We would take responsibility for the maintenance and repairs on the property, like I said, and you don't have to do anything with this house anymore. Other than the loan will stay in your name temporarily for a period of time until we get it cashed out. That's the only thing. Now, if that's a deal breaker for you, that probably wouldn't work. But if that's something you're probably open to, we can probably make something work with this. All right. Well, send me all the information. I'll definitely look at it for sure, man. Okay. Other than that, did you have any other questions for me? Nope. I'm I'm good. Just send me it. I'll I'll look at it and see what see what, see if that works. Perfect. So like I said, my name is Chris Monroe with St. Louis Cash Bars. You'll be getting an email this afternoon, okay? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. All right.